black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Oh no, please don't fall. All right, y'all. It's the return of the man in the pink hat. He's back for another Chinese food video. It's been months since we've had Chinese food, since my snowboarding vlog. And then that Chinese food, I think it's been like, yeah, since winter. So, you know what I mean? Lit cigs. Well, not lit yet. We're going to definitely get to some cig light and sauce. We got it right here. But we got the dinner combo for one. We got chicken balls. We got two cigs to light Vietnamese spring rolls. Sweet and sour sauce, a.k.a. cig light and sauce. And then we got the beef and mixed greens. And we have two fortunes. One is smashed to pieces, and I can kind of see the fortune, but we're not allowed to know that till the very end. That's when you have to find out your fortune, is at the end. But before we do anything more, we must pour. Today I'm going in with a Coca-Cola. I got half a bottle here. I had a half last night. I'm having the rest now. Look at me being all responsible and limiting my... Full sugar soda intake. <laughs> but nothing quite like a delicious full sugar to the top Coca-Cola. Really just one of the best beverages on the planet, but definitely should be limited in how much you drink it. <laughs> When it tastes like that, though, come on. Okay, we need sweet and sour sauce on our balls. And I don't care that it gets in my rice because I love it in my rice, too. I will be adding more of it later to my rice, in fact. And then we're going to light a cig in the cig light and sauce. And then we're going to get a quick thumbnail. And then we're going to take our first bite. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Okay, Vietnamese spring roll, the best thing ever. Bubbly, crunchy, hot, nice. Let's go. Mmm. Whoever invented it, pure genius. Oh man, just deep fried bliss. The bubbly crunchy. Mm. The veggies and the pork inside. Just salty, savory amazingness. Okay. Chicken ball. A little more dunk. Perfect center. Mm. Mm. 
Chinese food stay being expensive though. This meal with delivery. $32. I feel like Chinese food places probably make some serious profit because like rice is cheap, noodles are cheap. A couple little pieces of chicken but they're fried and like just in this dough, like dough, like flour is cheap. The vegetables are probably the most expensive thing. Is Chinese food expensive like that everywhere? Let me know. I think so. Choy. One of the best things ever. I love its texture. Steamy, warm, half crunchy, half soft. Immaculate. Sweet and sour chicken fried rice. One of the best things ever. A dish I've never attempted to make. mainly because it's intimidating. There's an artful technique to chicken fried rice. Or fried rice in general. And I think it's pretty easy to screw up. I definitely know that the rice has to be prepared like a day or two ahead of time. Before you can properly turn it to fried rice.
something to do with moisture is the key. On a side note, away from fried rice, I've come to the conclusion, and I'm, I was reminded today, that there are two types of people in the world. There are those who respect and love elegant, clean lines and things to remain how they were designed. And then there are those people who ruin those things by slapping stickers and magnets all over them. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm in the former category. I just don't like to like deface my laptop, my phone, my vehicle, my fridge with horrendous mismatching weird colored brands, like stickers of brands and stuff. It's just really strange to me. But some people love it, and some people were my parents, to be honest with you. My fridge growing up was covered in swag, <laughs> magnets, pictures, notepads, all these things, stickers. And it was so annoying to the point where there were things like magnetized on that when you'd open the door, like shit would just fall off the, the fridge door and you'd have to like pick it all up. I know my head the whole time, like, since when did a fridge become this like, this like, canvas for your tack, tacky magnet graffiti like <laughs> I don't get it I say this because I was driving home and somebody was driving like I don't know was like a pretty new car like a nice vehicle and all over the back of their vehicle was just littered with, like, stickers. And I thought to myself, like, we probably spent, like, 40, 50 grand on this thing. It's, like, beautiful. It's, like, made to be beautiful. Like a sleek, a sleek sexy mobile. And then you just... Covered the back, like the back hatch, like the back, you know, to load up the back, that door, with just a bunch of weird stickers. I was just like, I'm just so confused by it. I've seen a lot of laptops, really stickered. That's definitely helpful for identification if it gets stolen. But still, in my head, I'm like, what happens if we want to sell that thing? Like, do you really want, like, sticker juice all over it? Like, sticker residue? I don't know. Just my feeling. <laughs> On sticker mania.
I think my family fridge traumatized me. I think that has a lot to do with it. Another big one was Nalgene bottles. Nalgene bottles were like... Such a hot classic bottle to, for people, people to carry around. And those babies... always had stickers sm sm smacked on them. All right. I know I said we had to wait, but I'm too antsy. I want to know. I want to know the fortune. You are deeply introspective, imaginative, and sensitive. Damn fortune cookie. That's the truth. For real. Fortune number two. Coming right up. If I could just open the package, that'd be great. And we're crumbling everywhere. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Others are deeply moved by your presence. Is that true, you guys? Are you deeply moved by my presence? Stuffing my face with pieces of broccoli? Perhaps. I know it's pathetic, but somehow I'm actually very full off of that little bit that I ate. My stomach was a little funky earlier today. Wasn't sure when and if, like, what I was going to eat. Ordered this. Delicious, but it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Good nonetheless, though. And I like those fortunes. All right. Bit of a fail, quick one today. But these things happen. This is life. Until the next one, eat, live well, stay true. Black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah.